Okay, everyone, welcome. Welcome to a quick sound test, visual test. I'm going to be moving around a lot, show you a little bit of the uh, place that I live in, as it were. This is our Mesa base. Most of it's inside. This is a big mess at the moment here where I've been doing some Britannia stuff. This is my chicken farm, which is currently disabled. This is my orb altar, which I'm still building. Hence you can see that there are plenty of rooms that need converting into rooms of the orb. Over here is my sacrifice altar. I have four witches who live here all the time. And then I have spawners underneath that I can turn on with a switch from the base. Over here is the one and only beacon I currently have. It's set up at the moment for summoning Gaia spirits because I can't build a tier 5 blood altar yet. This is my crafting altar and just around here is a way down which shows you all my spare blood capacity for crafting. I think every single one of these should be full. Yes and there are actually some buffer drums in the uh, pipeline as well because, well, not having enough blood would be a bad thing. My ritual of binding is here. My ritual of unbinding is up here. My mark of the falling tower is over here with a little bit of defensive obsidian collar. This is one of my automated alchemy and my other automated alchemy terminals. I used to have some um, mining stuff here, but I tore that down. This is my AE interface for blood magic. And over here is a general AE interface onto my network. Let's have a go inside. That's our bedroom. And this is our main room. So we have Thamcraft over here. We have our dragon egg here on display. This is our chisel experimentation space and our Galacticraft experimentation space. This is our chess set, where you can uh, sit and watch them play chess. This is an automated speed potion system. And uh, this is Andy's potions lab, where he can use his scary vanilla redstone skills to make potions for us. Out we come. That's our portal dimensional bridge stabilizer. I'll take you through the portals in a bit. Our nether connection is through there. And this is our primary ME crafting and uh, Ender IO crafting area here. We also have this, which is our automatic processor making. It's probably not the most efficient. We could have automated it more effectively with something like open computers, but we didn't. This is our enchanting area, and these are our computers. This is the in automatic uh, assembly table stuff with a switch here for turning the lasers on and off because lasers chew power all the time. If I take you downstairs, then there's our capacitor, keeps everything running. Each of our molecular assemblers fully stocked and each one has a crafting unit with it just so that we have plenty of crafting capability. This is our cactus farm. Every time it grows up that annihilation plane takes the top off. This is our emergency extra power. If I push that button then that lava generator and all of these combustion generators and there's uh, some more combustion generators underneath will all fire up and give us more power. And obviously that's the fuel source for that. There's another crafting unit under there. Then we have this, this is the blood bridge. If I turn that on, then uh, you'll see that we are starting to get blood come through from outside. Turn that off again, because we don't need it. That then pumps into the AE system using extra cells. That's our charged quartz generator. And here is our seeds generator. Behind there are a bunch of level emitters that keep the um, crystal growth accelerators online for the duration of the crafting. Here's our cobble barrel and there's actually 
a cobble gem underneath it and it's also attached into the AU system. This is our quantum bridge to our moon base and here's the beginnings of some experimentation with uh, pneumatic craft. Not very much at the moment though. If I come back upstairs then I can take you to our moon base which is still being constructed but this is our reception area with oxygen sealer then this is where we make our oxygen I do find it amusing that where we make our oxygen we can't breathe hence my uh, need to come back in here and off this way will be our industrial room which we've not done very much with yet and in this direction is our way out onto the moon so here we are on the moon you can see that on top of our industrial section is the power generation and our trees over here are in a beautiful little glass dome we're still trying to build and make everything look pretty here so we haven't finished yet this will be another little manufactory which obviously we can't get going until we've moved the portal and I can't move the portal yet so that's our moon base come back home we can also get to the end portal in the stronghold and to the end island there now that we've defeated the dragon if we come upstairs from our base oopsie all the way up to the top then this is our cathedral just going to uh, snarf that we run around to the front of the cathedral it's actually modeled on ely cathedral it's not complete yet as you can see there's still plenty of you know chisel and carpenter's blocks that need finishing but we're getting there slowly we need to put a window in here it's a little bare at the moment but the whole thing looks if I lift up into the air really quite grand sheep farm chickens cows if I allow this timer to run it will periodically boot a uh, mana pulse over there to shear the sheep but uh, right now we have plenty of wool so there's not really any need to do that this is my Britannia power area and um, portal and that's about it really there's very little else that we have we have enormous holes in the world where we've been quarrying but mostly we've just been playing around and failing to get enough with the skeleton skulls to make enough beacons to make us happy. I hope you enjoyed that little tour. And um, oh yeah, that's my uh, arcane spark. I will see you another time. Bye bye.